Ever wanted the most exclusive t-shirt in GTA Online? This is the Elite Challenge t-shirt, which is only available to those players who have completed all five of the Elite Challenges in the original heist. Widely regarded as the hardest to complete based on how little time you have to get them done, and only worn by the very best GTA players. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through how to complete Trevor's Series 8 Elite Challenge in under 6 minutes 30. You first need to buy yourself this apartment on Integrity Way, which you can purchase from the Dynasty 8 website for $476,000. You then have to make sure you have bought the heavy utility vest from a clothing store. Welcome to Suburban. You can find them by going to Tops, Utility Vest, Heavy Utility Vest. Choose either the grey or the black. This latest collection if you can believe it then make sure you save your outfit wearing this vest in the og heist gives you so much more protection but the trade-off is that it makes your character slower if you can make it quick i was in the middle of a blog post hi there <laughs> hey, welcome welcome so glad you could make it ah <sighs> now haven't we met already huh fucking get moving in the setup, make sure the host has heist clothing set to player saved outfits. There are two roles for each player, two players for Lookout North and two for Lookout South. One player from Lookout North should choose a fast bike and everyone else should choose the Torridor. And be sure to each wear your heavy utility vest. The Elite Challenge timer starts as soon as the green banner comes down. The South team jumps into the second Torridor while North team takes the first and the bike, then follow this route to Trevor. Only one player needs to trigger the first checkpoint, so let it be the North team. And we're done! Okay! Two on the North side, two on the South side, let's go! The South team then waits inside the warehouse on this slope. These guys, you kill them more, I'll pay you for the job! The reason for the bike is to take this route. Oh. and drop proximities at these locations. Let's go. The more of these guys you kill, the more I'll pay you. And then head inside the warehouse to trigger the first wave of enemies. Competition. This bit here will take some practice, so you will all know where and when each wave will spawn. You're not just fighting for me. You're not North team gets the first wave, so let's concentrate on this first. The first short wave will be taken out by the proximity mines. Yammer. All the people that gotta kill and steal to get ahead, okay? The real people! For the South team, one player is to chuck down a couple of proximities here. For the little people, the dreamers and the scammers. And two more here. Kill and steal to get ahead, okay? The real people! Then equip your sniper with explosive rounds or be ready with an RPG. Then take out the first vehicle that spawns behind this trailer. The other player should patrol this area to the right. How you doing over there, huh? Back to the north team for their second wave of enemies, which will have a few spawn in the middle here. Then a bike and a truck coming down the hill. South team can help out North team by taking out a couple of enemies to the side of the warehouse. While the proximities do their job, 
take an RPG and point it at this line. As soon as the bike is spawned, signal your drivers to get into the trucks while the other two tidy up. You should be at around 2 minutes 30 at this point, giving you 4 minutes to deliver the trucks. The only way you're going to do that is by getting boost from the Torridor, so have one each. You can use the Vigilante here, which is more powerful, but it does increase the chance of spinning the truck around. As Torridor drivers, you will need to take out 75 enemies along the way in order to hit the criteria for the Elite. Don't worry too much about the choppers at this point, as they will follow you, just take them out when you get the chance. You also don't need to worry about your missiles hitting the trucks as they won't cause any damage, and you can't blow your own vehicle up either. Another benefit of the Torridor is it has unlimited missiles, whereas the Vigilantes is limited, so just go mad. The truck drivers just need to concentrate on keeping up their speed and driving as smoothly as possible. And they can also help out by shooting or running over some enemies along the way. When you eventually get to this part, ignore the yellow route completely and keep driving. You then want to turn off after this big bush on the right and down the slope. The Torridor in front should then stay on the freeway to kill any remaining enemies to ensure you hit the kill quota. Take it nice and easy around this corner. boost to the end. Friends, nice one on TPI on our way. We are on our way. Now you just need to collect Trevor's plastic bags. Here is what I promised you. And then repeatedly tell Trevor you banged his mum. Why do you keep saying that? And your elite challenge is complete. Six minutes and 20 seconds, 88 enemies killed. So if you found this video useful, please leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down. I shouldn't be here. See, I should be with Trevor. And I'll see you in the next one. Three, six. Ah!